against Grant, and Martin has beaten Grant. In some good battles. Here's Danny Del Rey on the left foot, hooking it in front of goal. Well done to Royal, an open goal, and a goal to start the second quarter of the Bulldogs by the Little Rover. Well, what a great start. They now lead by one point. Well, that was good football. Down at that half-forward line where Grant fought for it with Martin. Del Rey swamped on it. Swooped on it. On the left foot. Hooked it back in front of goal. Running back with the flight of the ball, ball was Royal. And into an open goal. And very easily done by the champion Little Rover. So Bulldogs in front by a point. Hepburn with a big knock out of the middle. Foster for uh, Footscray. Cameron to Cullen. Cullen backs himself against German and dashes away from him while bouncing. Approaches 50. This ball's just in. And seen out by Smith. Wasn't bad to uh, bounce the ball and get away from Peter German like that. Well, either he's quick or Peter German's slow, I think. Boundary throw in in the forward pocket. The Bulldogs again back into attack. Del Rey. Cullen off the left. Great play. Well, the Bulldogs getting two goals in the first 90 seconds and taking a break of seven points. Well, Mark Cullen, after that great dash down the forward flag, he would have been pretty tired. He was hotly pressed by Peter German, and eventually he roved the pack after the boundary throw in and over the back, swooped on it on that left foot and hooked it through, and a great start. And Terry Wheeler. Well, he doesn't show a lot of animation, but he'd be very pleased with the start to this second quarter by the Bulldogs. That's a big fist by Hepburn. Grabbed by Foster. A long kick, or a wobbly one, out towards the half-forward line. Martin. Oh, brilliantly picked up by Coleman. The roars of the crowd. Glenn Coleman to half-forward and Royal. And Brian Royal's taken a strong mark in front of Ross Smith. Now, Royal has kicked two. That's what they need up there, a, a forward pocket rover kicking goals because they've got two young forwards who can test well, Grant and Wigney. And Strange, strangely enough, Peter, North have won it out of the middle every time through Hepburn in this quarter, and Footscray might get three goals in two minutes. Brian Royal firing for his third of the game. It's a high floater, it's a goal, all right, and the Bulldogs move further in front. Footscray, 5-5, 35, lead North Melbourne, 3-4, 22. And the congratulations to Brian Royal, but full master, Glenn Coleman, a brilliant one-handed pickup. And the kick down to the forward line, Royal, a very, he is a strong overhead mark for such a little man. All of a sudden, Footscray have come from behind to lead by 13 points. Hepburn again wins in the middle, but once again, Footscray come out with the ball through Wallace. Whitney, great hand pass to Atkins. Atkins kick out wide. Delray on the bounce. Great pick up. Cullen free second. Footscray murdering North at the moment, but Cullen shot missed. Mark Cullen, one goal, two. And it's a 14-point lead to Footscray. Who trailed by five points at quarter time. Well, what a chance that was for Cullen. North Melbourne a little bit mesmerised at the moment. Good pass by Martin. Finds Mark Hepburn at half-back flank. Long kick by Hepburn to centre wing. Carey used his body well, then socketed it off the ground. But waiting for it is Cameron. Footscray looking good. Hunter. Colonel. He's used the ball well in this match. And again he's done it to Wigney. Danger here as Delray's making the lead. Now he's going to kick along. He's hoping someone can take a mark. Hawkins is there. Grant is there also. It comes to ground. Umpire calls play on. Terry Wallace. All oh, grab round the neck. Umpire missed it. Delray in after it. Now Doug Hawkins. What can he do? Uh, but in the meantime, the umpire, John Russo, <laughs> says it's my ball. And he'll bounce it in the forward pocket. And good luck, Johnny Russo. He's always, always talking to the players and Explaining decisions, unruffled. That's the way to do it as the punch comes up in front of goal. Ramiro, well done to Brayshaw. Brayshaw kicking a 
across towards half-back. This is Shoal on Atkins. Oh, dangerous hand pass. Will it come up? It does to Fairley. Fairley to Kerry. Kerry put himself in front over the shoulder against Foster. The umpire Peter Kerry said this is Wayne Kerry. They've got to get it to Longmire quickly. This is Ben Buckley. Takes the mark. Longmire and Bryce are up there. They've got plenty of options. Allison's also there. Now the kick comes to Longmire. A clever lead. Good pass. Now we will have to kick from 50 metres. So won't be easy. He's not taking a lot of time about it. From right on 50 metres. The kick from Johnny Longmire. Hooks it across his body. And the mark is taken by Glenn Coleman. Who has played well since coming on as interchange. Played a superb game. Spent the first 10 minutes on the bench. Had six possessions in the first quarter. Eppleston in the back pocket. Runs it right up. Draws Crocker, who had to leave his man Cameron. Cameron, good penetration with that kick to half forward. Grant, one hand to it. Comes to Martin. He's dragged to ground. Wallace to Royal, to Atkins. Atkins, great pass to Cullen. And Footscray murdering North at the moment. Cullen pops it over the top for Delray. Bit of body work there, no whistle. Fairly for North. Robbed by Royal. His kick across the half forward line. Buckley. Too slick for Smith. It comes to McGuinness, who slams a goal. Footscray on fire. In this quarter, they've kicked four goals to nothing. Well, you're certainly right. Drew, they are on fire, and that man talk about on fire. Tony McGuinness, I'll have to do something about him. He, well, the great play was by Royal, who actually pinched it out of the hands of a North Melbourne player. And eventually, McGuinness, the ball came his way, and he doesn't mess around. He's had 10 kicks, Tony McGuinness, and that was his first goal. The bounce of the ball, Coleman, beaten for it by Hepburn. But they're not getting it out of the centre, North Melbourne. Footscray, desperate and tough. The hand pass was by Buckley to Romero. To the half-forward line. Footscray in defence, tremendous. Out to Cameron. Now, who was that? That was Mark Hunter again. That was good play. Wigney moving well. Right on top of the moment of Fairley. Now, the lead is on by Delray. He kicks it to advantage. Oh, Grant's got the city. Can fly from behind. He waits down. Good play, Chris Grant. Gets in a hand pass. Another goal coming up, I think, to Royal. Bang! It's another one to the Bulldogs, and Royal has kicked four. Half, a 22-point lead to the Bulldogs. Bounce favours, favours Hepburn. He gets it to Buckley. North this time perhaps out of the middle, but Foster the next possession. Little kick, partly smothered. Soccer forward by McGuinness. McRae, great pickup. Met by McGuinness. Oh, strength by the South Australian there. Put him out of play. But he's given away the free kick. Dean McRae. North looking to repeat what Footscray did in the opening minutes of the second quarter. Big pack at half forward. Foster almost. The umpire's going to ball it up just outside the 50. Sunny conditions at the Western Oval. Hardly any breeze at all, which is a rarity. Another rarity has been Footscray victories out here this year. They've won just two in eight games at home this year. Atkins holding the ball, says the umpire. Free kick to North. Atkins not happy. Punch out by Reynolds. Longmire, another possession, 60 metres out from goal, but the hand pass dropped short. Cameron. Longmire back to centre wing now. Hawkins goes in. Longmire paddles backwards. North still in control. Scholl. Across the ground. Looking for some runners. He's put it out in front of a couple of teammates. Carey flips over the top, but too far for Buckley. Another chance for Buckley. Back it comes to Scholl. High kick. Camped underneath it. Charles. High leap by Rock. Rock did pretty well then. Off the ground. Oh, this is a good play by North. But Larkin tried to beat his man. Shrugs him off eventually, Steve Wallace. Larkin's kicked close, but just offline. Well, he's got an amazing habit of doing that, Matthew Larkin. When you think he's going to be collared, he is a very strong little player. And uh, 
Keenan Reynolds, he loves going that little short pass from full back. Will he go again? Kick right on the line there, out to the half back line. Foster was the man he was looking for. Carey disposes of him. Then Carey goes in to get it again, tries to shuffle it on. McGuinness is there. Now Ben Buckley dodges and weaves. A quick hand pass. Playing for the free kick was Larkin. And umpire John Russo having none of that. He'll come in and bounce it. Two umpires, John Russo and Peter Carey. Very experienced and have done a great job here today. Excellent game to watch. Puts Gray the better side. have had many, many more possessions than North. But North still in there with a chance. They only trail by 21 points. Carey beaten by Justin Charles. That was Craig Schultz trying to get his boot the ball. Crocker crashes his way through. Kicked away by Hunter, who's been an excellent player. Hepburn couldn't take the mark. Taps it towards the boundary line. Good pressure there by Mark Cullen. Boundary throw in will take place at half forward for North. Badly want a couple of quick goals to get a bit of momentum going. They haven't had many good players. Hepburn has got most of the hit outs. He got it again. Here's McGuinness, who's been brilliant. He and Royal, the two Rovers. Quick kick comes back towards Scholl. Now he picks it up, finds Ramiro. He's caught. Gets in a hand pass. McRae disposed of. Kicked away by Atkins. This is Cullen. Cullen a quick hand pass goes in to get it again scrambly passage of play this on center wing and Terry Wallace well done Simon Atkins Cullen McGuinness again the short chip pass is a beauty that finds Steve Wallace center of the ground Justin Charles good running play by Footscray as the kick comes to Hawkins who read that well at half forward Doug Hawkins a long way out from goal again he's going for the chip pass and he's found Terry Wallace Running that ball beautifully. Oh, an ordinary kick by Wallace, but it's a loose man. Oh, no one on Charles. 40 metres out. He could have steadied and slammed that through. He rushed the kick and he has missed to the right. So not good play, Justin Charles. Should have kicked that one. 8-10 foot spray, North Melbourne 5-6. Scrappy start to the third quarter. Contrast to the start of the second. McCarthy. Taking a week to keep in. Straight up the centre of the ground for Hepburn. Spoiled by Atkins, who did pretty well from behind. Oh, Cameron. Del Rey a fumble. Bryce. Ooh. Farms the ball out to Brayshaw. Any amount of North players here. Romero. He's got Allison in support outside. Brett Allison just two touches in the first half. Gets away from McGuinness. Approaches 50. Has time to look and steady. A beautiful kick for a goal. Well, Wayne Schimmelbush, no doubt, would have revved up Brett Allison, amongst others, at half-time. North get the first goal of the third quarter. Allison unsighted in the first half, but he had time to roll up towards the 50, measure off the kick, and got good distance plus the accuracy. And he didn't panic either. Actually, there was no forward leading, Drew, so he really had to kick long. Sixteen points, the margin only now to Footscray. Now there's a holding the ball decision against Footscray, against Brian Royal. So, well, North Melbourne already looking as though they mean business in this quarter. This is Jeff Chandler. The long kick to half forward. Longmire and Reynolds. Allison over the top. Is a second goal coming up. Brett Allison, he sneaks it in, I think, for another one. What a great start to North. Yes, it's a goal. Well, stark contrast this. Look at the scoreboard now. One goal for the margin, 10 points only. Brett Allison, two goals in two minutes. Exactly what Brian Royal did at the start of the second quarter. Footscray dominated this game since halfway through the first quarter, and yet here we have North Melbourne only trailing by 10. In the centre, and Charles making a bit of a difference for Footscray on the ball. Eventually, Smith for North. Steve Wallace pulled off it. Should have taken a free kick. Crocker over the top to Ramiro. Bad bounce for Jose, but taken by Carey. In front, 40 metres out. Bang! Three and three minutes. The big thump was by Charles to half forward. Ben Buckley. 
races at it. Delray's there also. Back up support by Dean McRae and they scream out of defence. North Melbourne McRae to the half forward line. Oh, Foster overran it. Allows Carey and he's got it. Carey will go with a hand pass. He's got a back up support from Anthony Rock. Onto the right foot goes Rock, setting it up, looking for Longmire. Longmire up in front is marked. And Johnny Longmire hasn't kicked the goal today. He's been kept goalless by Keenan Reynolds. And he'll kick for, for goal from 45 metres. And would you believe it, a chance to put North Melbourne in front by two points. Longmire directly in front, kicks straight through that ball. And North Melbourne hit the front by two points. Well... 8-10, plays 9-6, North Melbourne 60, Footscray 58, and Terry Wheeler and his co-selectors would be stunned. Well, Longmire has been held, but to his credit, he's had eight kicks, John Longmire, and most of those kicks up around the half-forward line, battled his heart out, and Keenan Reynolds not happy, but he's done a good job. They're just taken right over North. North by two points. Hepburn wins in the middle. Smith on the run. Umpire almost in the way. Steve Wallace for Footscray. Kick out towards a vacant centre wing. Cullen leads the race. He's taken over the boundary line. And he's holding the ball, said the umpire. He just let the ball lie underneath him. And it's taken by McRae. To half forward. Oh, good mark. Taken by Charles. Back to Foster. Centre of the ground, the mark taken by Hepburn. Well, actually, strangely, Footscray got their rush of goals while North was winning in the ruck, and I think North are getting theirs while Charles has been winning in the ruck. Centering kick by Chandler, here's Charles. Crash to the front by Fairley, comes to Royal, who works backwards with his hand pass to Steve Wallace. Kick very wide, Chandler just inside the line, ducks the tackle well. Standing start, 45 metres, Longmire. Charles feeds back the hand pass. Foster. Terry Wallace in a bit of trouble but finds Atkins. Oh, good play, Footscray. Colin Newt puts the pass wide for Delray. And moving like they were in the third quarter. Wigney back into Delray. He's got nobody on him. Danny Delray all the way. Goes from 35 metres and kicks a great goal. His second... And the Bulldogs back in front. Well, a great game of football this is. We've enjoyed it right from the start of the game, and they needed that one. That was good team play. Started with the halfback area where Justin Charles took a terrific mark. And good teamwork all the way up that wing to Del Rey. He sprinted clear, didn't panic, steady before he kicked the ball. And he is a lovely kick at goal. Footscray by four points. Can they go on with it? Charles gets the hit out. Hepburn, a fresh air shot. Wigney played a great game at centre half forward. There's Justin Charles again. Wigney wide. Grabbed by Matt Larkin. Over to Rock. Rock to the half forward line. This is Crocker against Steve Wallace. Crocker tapping it back. That was cleverly done by Darren Crocker. Swings onto the right foot and a high ball. Carey and Fairley. Is it a mark? No. Carey's got it. Onto the left foot, should a handball. That was not good play, but Rock's still a chance. He's deep in that forward pocket, hooks it over the shoulder. Oh, this could be a great kick now. I think he's just missed. Anthony Rock has kicked the behind. But I thought Kerry should have laid off a hand pass then to Rock. Just under 16 minutes of play left in this third quarter, and the margin is three points in favour of the Bulldogs. Kick in by Reynolds for Hawkins. Off hands to Brayshaw. He hoists it high. Longmire swamped. She's fairly a bit slow. Steve Wallace out to Eppleston to Royal. Hunter took his eyes off it. Hasn't made too many mistakes. Royal again to Eppleston. He goes for distance this time. Over half back. Brayshaw knocks towards the boundary line and finds the safety of touch. Well, nothing between these two teams. Footscray won in round seven this year by two points, and this looks as though it might go right to the wire too. Hepburn wins. Royal does the roving, but the umpire will ball it up. To start this quarter, North Melbourne have raced on four goals, 
And Footscray won. North hit the lead for a moment. Footscray regained it. McRae goes to ground. It was Hepburn, a high kick. Close to the boundary line and out of bounds in the forward pocket for a throw in. But North doing all the attacking. And amazingly, uh, Drew, as we said at half time, you and I, that Footscray dominated so much in that first half. They had so many more possessions, marks, handballs, and kicks, and yet they weren't far enough ahead on the scoreboard. Here's Fairley with a quick kick at goal. Longmire ducking back after it, but can't get there before it beats him over the line, out of bounds on the full. Greg Appleston, already a sense of urgency on the faces of the Footscray defenders. They were doing it easily. All of a sudden, the pressure on as the ball is just coming down so quickly. Foster, a good mark. Terry Wallace. Colonel. Centre wing, Buckley. Good use of the body. Hand pass over to McCarthy. They need players like uh, McCarthy firing a good kick. Finds Crocker at half forward. And not much pressure on Crocker then. Now, where's the lead? Longmire's gone to the half forward line. Lovely lead. Beautiful kick by Crocker. And that is great forward play. And no doubt about Longmire, I said earlier in the game, he very rarely leads right out to the boundary line. Even this one, he's almost dead centre. Going for his second goal of the game. The kick by Longmire, a beautiful drop punt. Right through the centre for his second. Umpire Peter Carey about to bounce the ball to start the final quarter here at the Western Oval. North Melbourne leads Footscray by 15 points after a great third quarter. The ball towards half forward. That's Crocker in after it for North Melbourne. Oh, he's got it too. Quick hand pass to Ross Smith. A game of contrast this. Here's a chance for Chandler. Quick kick, finds Larkin. Larkin to Ramiro. Ramiro from 55 metres sets it up in front of goal. Fairley and Longmire. Fairley at the back. Tap down to Longmire. For his third on the left foot. Across the face. Hits the behind post. So that will be deemed to be out of bounds for a throw in in that forward pocket. Longmire in the third quarter. John Longmire kicked three goals after being held goalless by Keenan Reynolds in the first half. A couple of very, very long drop punts. Crock has been a good player. Quick hand pass. Ross Smith lines up at goal, fades it to the right. Fairly, is that, that a mark? I think it was over the line. It was as it goes through for a behind to North. A real game of contrast, as I said a moment ago. Second quarter, all Footscray, they dominated this match. In the third quarter, North came out breathing fire and really took over as the kick comes out to Coleman at half back from Keenan Reynolds. Well, Footscray won the second quarter by 27 points, but North won the third quarter by 37. Coleman's kick short of centre wing, not great for the team, and out of bounds on the wing. Well, Terry Wheeler really gave Footscray a rev up at three quarter time. They were looking magnificent to half time. What a punch up the ground by uh, McGuinness. What about 35 metres? Cullen. Oh, great stuff. He could have socketed that, but he went in and took clean possession. Over the head of Grant at the back, Colin Uke. Still going Footscray's way. Colin Uke trying to get it back to Grant. Was he grabbed? Yes. Free kick to Colin Uke against Buckley. So a chance for Footscray to start this quarter as they started the second. Actually, the scoring in this game would suggest that there's about a five-goal win left to right, but there's nothing happening here. Still calm day at the Western Oval. Colin Uke from about 15 metres. Goals. Well, that's Steve Colin Uke's first goal of the game, but most importantly, it's taken Footscray under 10, 13, 73 to North, 12, 11, 83. Ten points the margin. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Steve Colin Uke started on an interchange, came on, and with his pace was a creative player. The little men for Footscray have done particularly well. Royal's been excellent. He's kicked four. And McGuinness. Of course, Liberatore out with injury. Let's see he'll get it out of the centre. It's Gallagher tapping it down. Kick by Chandler. Ramiro in after it. Jose Ramiro. A quick kick to the half-forward line. Good mark. 
Foster. Been a good player again. He had a great season on the Hawkins. Had a quiet third quarter. Eppleston to centre wing. Cullen to try and get onto his left foot, I'd imagine. Mark Cullen across the centre. Delray at the back. Can't take the mark. It's all North Melbourne as Bryce passes his way through the pack. That was a good play. An ordinary kick to the half forward line. Crocker, a ton of skill, tries to tap it on and eventually is forced over the line by number 48 for Footscray, Nigel Kellett, who is another player who started on the interchange bench. Gallagher palms down. Romero ridden to the ground by McGuinness. Oh, good spin out of trouble by Terry Wallace. Cullen, top vision. Royal. Beautiful pass to Collinew. On the bounce just outside 50. Into Cullen, who's got pace. What a shocking kick off the left. McCarthy chips in in front of Wigney. And a beautiful delivery. Gallagher, Buckley, North on the rebound. Romero being run down by McGuinness. Allison, who sparked North revival with two goals early in the third quarter. Brett Allison off the left. Longmire. Well, these two, who between them starred for New South Wales in beating Victoria earlier this year, between them kicked five goals in the third quarter. Allison got two. Longmire kicked three. And this is for the 90th for the season for John Longmire. And he gets it. Goalless to half time, but he edges up towards the century. Well, that was beautiful play by North, and it all started down the other end with a mistake by Cullen. McC Cullen was given the ball on a plate. He was steaming towards goal, a very, very poor kick under no pressure whatsoever. Then the rebound ended up with Ramiro, then with Allison, a switch by Longmore. He went one way, then the other beautiful lead, and he is a great kick for goal. He's kicked his fourth. 16 points the margin. Big job for the Bulldogs because North are full of running. Here's Atkins to Wallace. Wallace a quick kick to the half forward line. Strong work by McCarthy. He's picked up his game since going to centre half back. Although Whitney is right on top there for most of the game against Fairley. Foster makes a rare error. Can't take the mark and then pounces in on top of it. That was hard because they were all in on top of that ball. Not only Foster, a bit tough, but the umpires today have been excellent. John Russo. Peter Carey, this is Craig Scholl. But when things aren't going your way, it seems to go on forever. Atkins off the ground, tapped on by McGuinness, grabbed by Ross Smith around the corner. Danger for Footscray. Fairly is there. Oh, and coming in to help out is Carey. Good mark. And he is one of the best chess marks in the game. He leaps high and hugs it high. Wayne Carey. He's tried hard. He's, you'd have to say he's been beaten by Foster on the day. But he, then again, he has kicked two goals and about to kick for his third from about 15 metres, but a very, very acute angle. Wayne Carey stabs at it. A goal up, I didn't move too far. It's a goal all right, and North Melbourne screaming ahead.